Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install NordVPN on your Amazon Fire TV or your Amazon Fire Stick. And if you're looking to get started with NordVPN, I do have a massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm over here on my Amazon Fire Stick. So I'm just going to show you guys how you can quickly install NordVPN, adjust some of the settings, and I'm even going to play a little bit of Geoblox Netflix when connected to NordVPN, just so you guys can see that this is actually working. So to get started, the first thing we have to do is go and install NordVPN. So you just want to go to the navigation menu, go over to the left hand side, and then go and search for NordVPN. And as you can see guys, we get the recommended app. So I'll just go and click on this one. And mine might look a little bit different to yours as I already have NordVPN installed. However, if you don't, all you have to do is click on the yellow uh, circle and this will go and download NordVPN. So once you have that, you can then go and open up the application. So I'm already logged into my account, so it's opened me uh, to this version. However, if you don't have an account with NordVPN, you can click the link down below in the video description and this will open you in a new tab. And from there, you can select your account um, specific to your budget and time frame. And from there, you'll get a username and password. So you just simply want to go and insert that in and then this will bring you to this particular screen. So once we have this open, um, this is kind of the user interface of NordVPN. It's very simple to kind of navigate and adjust the settings. So right here we have the connect now feature, search for a particular country or a connect to a server. So right out of the box, NordVPN is ready to go. Um, so you can go and connect straight away and your IP address will be hidden. And then you can also go and connect to different locations as well. So if you are looking to adjust further settings in NordVPN, I'll just quickly show you how to do that as well. So you just want to go to the left hand side, go down. And the first thing we have is speciality servers. So NordVPN is really great as it provides specific servers for what you're trying to do. So right here we have one for Torrentine, a dedicated IP address, one for the Onion Network, a double VPN, and also an obfuscated VPN as well. So I'm just going to leave this as is, as NordVPN will automatically connect you to the best server that they can find, depending on what you're using it for. And if I go back to the menu, I can go to settings, and then go over to settings again. And right here we can adjust some further settings um, such as CyberSec, allow local network discovery, TCP, custom DNS, and a couple of other features as well. So I'm going to leave all of this as is. However, if you do want to adjust those settings, you do have the control to do so. So I'm going to go back to the homepage of NordVPN. So I want to go watch the American version of Netflix as I'm actually located outside of that country. So this means I miss out on thousands of movies and TV shows. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. So I'm going to go to the search area and now I can go and search for the United States or even maybe the United Kingdom if I'm looking to watch that version of Netflix. So I'll go and type in the first couple of letters, press next and right here we have the United States. So I'll click on that location and this will just take a couple of moments and it will automatically connect me to the fastest server on the NordVPN network. And once this is highlighted in green, that just notifies me that I am now connected. So I'll go back to the home page of my Amazon Fire TV stick. So now that I'm here, I also have the ability to go and watch third party apps on the Amazon Fire TV stick and feel confident that my IP address is hidden from my internet service provider. So before I go and open up Netflix, the first thing I want to do is close the application and then relaunch it, as this will allow me to load the American version of Netflix. So to do this, I want to go back up to the menu, go over to settings, and then go to applications, and then go to manage installed applications. And from here, I want to scroll all the way down to Netflix, and then I want to click on force stop and then I'll go and click launch application. So much like a desktop computer or a smartphone device, sometimes you have to stop the application and then relaunch it to get it onto whatever version of the platform you're trying to get. So this will just start loading and now I can go onto my profile and this will now load me on the American version of Netflix. And just to show you guys this, I'll go and search for a TV show called The Office 
which is one of my personal favorites and it actually isn't available in my location. So this is really one of the major benefits of using a VPN for the Amazon Fire Stick. So I'll go and search for the office. Search for that one. And as you can see guys, I now have access to the Office TV show. And if I scroll down a little bit further, I'll also show you guys some additional content that I can find on the American version of Netflix. So I've got the Vampire Diaries, Parks and Recreation, and this is really only scratching the surface as to the amount of content that you can find. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is go play a little bit of this TV show in real time, as I really want to show you guys that NordVPN is actually working for unblocking Netflix and also to share with you the speeds. So I'll click on this one, press play, and as you can see guys, we're now getting the progress bar, and from my own experience, it does take around five to 15 seconds, as you can see right there. So as you can see from this video guys, it's super simple to get started with NordVPN on your Amazon Fire TV stick, and again, if you are looking to get started with them, don't forget to check out the massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. And if you guys want to learn anything more about VPNs or the Amazon Fire Stick, or maybe I left something out on this kind of how-to guide, uh, feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.